Hey guys, it's Dr. Fluffy here giving you a video on diamond camo and throwing a tomahawk while diving. Deathmatch. Now, people always like think whenever there's something cool that it could be a myth or fake. I was skeptical of diamond camo at first, but it turns out it's real. Down, it's you can see time. diamond riot shield's got the diamond button on the handle, there's my emblem and title. On the back, on the front, it's got my emblem and title again, and my clan tag, and it's got diamonds, like studded diamonds and all that cool stuff on it. And while I'm holding it, you can actually see diamond ballistic knife right here. It's got the handle. thought this was pretty cool, just kind of fell on the grass. Now, the ballistic knife blade isn't diamond, but the handle is. And if you look on the left, the knife that I'm holding is golden for some reason, I don't know why. Here's the diamond combat knife. It's the same thing as really any knife, it doesn't make it any better or worse. Works the exact same. Now, let me show you the diamond, <laughs> that was a fail, but let me show you the diamond crossbow. Again, you see right here I have the riot shield. Here's the crossbow, it looks pretty cool. I have a scope on it. And you can really like do anything you want with it. Works just the same like you would think. And it's got like a completely diamond magazine, which I think is pretty cool. And what I don't understand is you saw before I hit the riot shield once with the ballistic knife and it broke, but it survived three explosions by a crossbow. I don't understand again. Again, here's the diamond knife. Now there are a couple things I forgot to show you. Here it is like it's really cool with the riot shield, like, people always rush the riot shield there, that's how you kill them. But if you put a C4 in that spot, and someone goes to rush you, you'll be hiding behind it, they'll go to rush you, you blow it up. You don't die, but you lose your riot shield. You at least get the kill, it works well in search. And here's another cool thing, just to like mess with people, a floating C4. I don't really know what that does for you, but it looks pretty funny. And it doesn't really blow up when you shoot it, but for some reason I found out when you shoot under it, it falls and then it'll blow up. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But yeah. So I forgot to mention black hats. For you, who, for all of you who haven't used. What the hell is that thing? Alright, anyway. But for you who haven't used black hats before, they're really good. Like, they can hack enemy equipment. If it works really well with engineer. And then, if you have, like. If there's an enemy UAV, you could hack that. It won't, t it, it won't make it yours, but it'll destroy it. And you can do that with a lot of different things. Now, here's how to throw a tomahawk while diving. Now, for this I recommend you use like a small weapon, like primary and secondary. Just makes it easier. And the perks you should have, you should probably have like lightweight, fast hand, dexterity, and extreme conditioning. You don't have to have two tomahawks, but, you know, it just works well. Now, I found this out in Black Ops, but it's easier to do in Black Ops than it is in this. Now, everyone knows how to switch their weapons, obviously. Throw a tomahawk and dive. What you have to do is you have to kind of like hold Y and B at the same time on Xbox or triangle and square or a circle. Like you have to dive and then you have to like switch your weapon right before you dive and it'll let you throw it. I just showed you that. Like it's not instant. You have to like press Y and then quickly hold B. You should switch your weapon and then it'll let you dive. Like it's cool for a final kill or something like that. Like I always did it in Black Ops. It was easier to do in Black Ops 1. But, yeah, so, this was my first video. Thanks to Nuebi MLG, he got me into my YouTube channel. You should go check him out, link will be in the description. And, I'll see you guys later, bye.